Guys, it's finally here. The trailer that we thought never existed or no, was not going to be released until the movie came out. Spider-Man No Way Home. We finally have our first look at it. It was released at CinemaCon and shortly released online not so long ago. And I'm just really excited to see what this movie's about. We've been hearing so much speculation, theories, and, you know, like, rumors. But, like, when the trailer would drop, and it felt like, you know, like, oh, you know, this day, maybe it's this day, maybe it's that day. But nobody got right. But now we finally have it. Almost as if it's real. But my name is Johnny Tuber. Um, if you guys like my videos, um, or if you guys have seen my videos, um, make sure um, you guys subscribe. Like if you're new. And um, if you like Spider Man, you know, then you're probably going to like this reaction. I probably won't talk as much. I'm just going to say it because I'll probably be in awe of whatever. They have to show because they've been very like Marvel has kept like a, a tight lock on this movie and about like everything that's involved with it. And this is probably gonna blow our mind. So without further ado, let's get my reaction video. Okay, so say okay. okay, three, two, one. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Look at this, this is a good one. Some suggest that Parker's powers include the male spider's ability to hypnotize females. Stop, come on. <laughs> yes, my spider lord. <laughs> Can we just like stay up here all day? It is so crazy down there. That's right, folks. Spider-Man is in fact Peter Parker. Listen, I did not kill Mysterio. The drones did. The drones that are yours. Does any part of you feel relieved about all this? What do you mean? Now that everybody knows, you don't really have to hide or lie to people. For the record, I never wanted to lie to you. Beth, how do you tell someone that you're Spider-Man? Now everybody knows. But this isn't about me. This is hurting a lot of people. I've just been thinking about how to fix all of this. So, Peter. What do I owe the pleasure? I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Please, we saved half the universe together. I think we're beyond you calling me, sir. Okay, Steven. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. When Mysterio revealed my identity, my entire life got screwed up. I was wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. Strange. Don't cast that spell. It's too dangerous. Fine, I won't. Our world is about to forget that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Wait, everyone? Can't some people still know? That's not how the spell works. So MJ's gonna forget about everything we've ever been through? Stop tampering with the spell. Oh my god, Ned, he's my best friend. Oh, my Aunt May should really stop talking. Stop talking. <laughs> what just happened? tampered with the stability of space-time. The multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. The problem is you trying to live two different lives. The longer you do it, the more dangerous it becomes. <laughs> Okay, well, first off, we finally got the trailer. You guys see? Never thought that was gonna happen. I know it was amazing. I was was surprised that we saw Alpha Melina's Doc Ock, and we saw, you know, oh, I'm sorry, we're right. William Defoe's um, Green Goblin, um, his Jack Lantern bomb, and also we got little glimpses of Electro, Sat and Sandman attacking Spider Man. Well, I believe he's in the black and gold suit. And we also get glimpses of the black and gold suit, but still no inter integrated suit yet. I think it'll probably be later on in the film. 
and I was actually surprised about the idea about how, like, you know, from the ending, when, you know, his identity gets revealed and how they decide to handle that, like, he, I thought he would, you know, try to, like, run away, maybe he does try to, you know, run away from the police, government, whatever, try and chase him down because, you know, he, you know, supposedly, like, got Mysterio, you know, but yeah, I was surprised that, you know, that he kind of just gave in and kind of, you know, just accepted it. And now everybody knows who he is. And I'm excited to see like, how that plays out. And, like, you know, the whole thing about Doctor Strange and stuff. Because there has to be a reason, like, you know, for the spell going wrong in that in that part. Because something didn't feel right about that. I, I think maybe that's when the multiverse, like, you know, that part on Loki. No spoilers if you haven't seen that yet. But, you know, like, when, when Sylvie kills the one known as, you know, He Who Remains also King the Conqueror, um, the multiverse gets unleashed and maybe at that moment that was when Strange was trying to, you know, cast a spell and said a lot of people to fit who um, Peter was. But yeah, I, I'm, everything actually looks really good. Every, like the tone too especially is a lot more like, you know, more serious, more sinister, no pun intended, no sinister six. But yeah, um, I, I, I'm liking the tone they use for the trailer and you know, they showed enough, and they also showed, like, you know, they showed a, a lot, but I think it's a good amount. I ho I'm hoping that this is the only trailer that comes out, maybe just, maybe you can just do maybe like a TV spot or whatever, but, like, don't show too much, because, excuse me, because, you know, so we can actually enjoy it in the theater and stuff. And this, this was really good, and also, um, I think there's one more character, too, I'm not sure who that was, but, maybe... Lizard Venom, somebody. But it, it, when when Peter was walking through the thing and something tried to attack him, when he was in some regular clothes too, I wonder what that is. And also like, I, I never thought we'd ever see a movie with Doctor Strange and Spider Man together like in a in Marvel film. I mean, like, think about that. Even if you know, even if you don't like the film, we can't say that's not pretty cool. And I, I actually, this was like a comic book story that they would probably do in the comments. Maybe it's, of course, you know, it's inspiration from something, but, but yeah, I'm excited to see, you know, like, what this film is gonna, come, you know, be about, and, like, how they're gonna handle, like, everything, because it's, like, I was a little bit worried about, like, how they were gonna handle, um, you know, the multiverse stuff, along with the, um, the stuff about him having his identity revealed, but now, after seeing the trailer, I think, I think it should be good. I'm just very, really excited to see, you know, you know, where the film is going to go, and also because Spider-Man is one of my favorite superheroes too. Yeah, I think that's what it's like, uh, pretty surely though. <laughs> I'm glad we finally got it. I know a bunch of people are probably happy that we got it too. But yeah, I, I, there's nothing much, much to say about that, but, but I wonder, actually, I wonder if we're going to see um, Scorpion um, and um, the Vulture in this movie because, you know, they were in Homecoming and, you know, they never really dressed like what happened to them after. And maybe they'll, maybe, we Sensor 7, maybe? You know, maybe, maybe some Mysterio's alive too, I don't know. He could be alive, you never know, because, you know, there's a bunch of theories about that too. But yeah, anyway, my name is John YouTuber. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, and share if you're new. Uh, let me know what you thought about the trailer, whether you liked it, you didn't like it, your thoughts about it. Um, if you're excited for the movie, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.